Yo, what's up, YouTube? Paul Madfish. Right, coming at you with a video today on something I've purchased for the Mammoth Tank. It's a Gucci little bit of kit, uh, but I felt that, you know, why not? You know, let's uh, splash out a touch. So, I've bought the Hydor Smart Level Controller. Um, this basically is an auto top-off system for your tank. So, uh, in the sump, uh, I'll fit the sensor part, which is that part there, the bottom part. Uh, and then I'll have a reservoir tank, uh, which will be water that's already preheated and ready to drop into the sump uh, via a pump. Uh, this unit automatically switches on and off a pump. Uh, it also sounds an alarm if your sump starts to overfill. Right, so might as well unbox it as well, show you guys what it's all about. Uh, this is going to be difficult with one hand, so bear with me. Right. Right, inside the box, you can see the brains of the operation. So, the main control. Uh, I'm going to play it on the roof of the tank. Right, leading from the brains is the power supply, so that's a UK 13 amp plug. There's also a UK 13 amp socket, that's where you pump a plug into to get your power supply from, yeah? Uh, that there, that lead, will be controlled internally uh, via the sensor. This here is the sensor, which is mounted into the tank using uh, the magnetic suction cup setup. Uh, there's also a clip for your return pipe uh, from your pump. So, basically, here's how it works. That's mounted in your sump. The central pin, that's where your water level should be at. If it drops down and it, it's touching the bottom pin and not the middle pin, uh, it, that sends a signal through the cable, through the brains, back out and puts power onto your pump. Right, so then the pump starts pumping, obviously your water, back into your sump. The level rises, it gets to the central pin again and stops. If for some reason it continues on uh, and hits the top pin, uh, an alarm is sounded uh, just to alert whoever's in the vicinity that there's a problem uh, and you can address that manually. Um, so yeah, that's what I've bought, Gucci little piece of kit. They're not cheap, but these are great for, obviously large tanks you're going to get a lot of uh, surface evaporation, uh, especially in a discus tank that you're running at high temperatures. So. Be running that at 30 degrees C, which is if I check down here 86 Fahrenheit. So, yeah, let me know what you think about my little purchase for the Mammoth Tank, the up and coming discus tank. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.